installed on the roof after the company moved into the building in 1980. And it was originally painted purple, but the sun faded it blue and that color stuck. It's been a bright solid blue for nearly 37 years. That is until now. Red and white on blue, the rooftop termite, the target of taggers. The bug is a landmark in Rhode Island. You know, people use it for drive-by, for the directions and stuff, and kids love it. You know, to do to deface it like that was really just a shame. Tony DeJesus of Big Blue Bug Solutions says they called police after noticing the pest control company's namesake had fallen victim to an unwanted spray paint job. Just who's behind it is murky. The investigation is ongoing. Um, whether or not we can find anybody you know there's really no security cameras on top of the roof we don't keep anything up there so um, you know we're looking at other options maybe other buildings around here had security cameras that uh, might have seen something but of course the artists signed their work the crews leaving behind their initials alongside the artist tags but to Jesus isn't so sure it should be considered art when a landmark is the canvas and I know some people think of it as art you know and, and again when it's done on a billboard or something like that that's fine but when you're tagging public buildings or, or places like this we're a private business it's going now going to cost us money we're going to have to remove it and maybe have to repaint the bug so you know it's going to be an expense to us too and tonight we did reach out to some folks in the local graffiti community including some people who say on social media that they're part of the group that tagged the bug but so far we have not heard back in the newsroom kim kalunian eyewitness news